Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and I am joined by hardware editor Patrick Stone. Hello. And today we're talking about cables. We have a lot of freaking cables on the table here. We got some video cables, some data cables, some ethernet, even fiber over here. Everyone needs a little bit of fiber in their day. I have a pretty crazy power cable I want to talk about. We have a secret cable at the end. I am giving away something. I think it's going to be a game. I don't know. I'll mention it in the comments below. I want to give you something if you can identify this. Um, we'll talk about that at the end. And then we have some legacy junk over here. So starting with display, Intel and AMD said they're phasing out support for legacy connectors in 2015. Still DVI is used every day in our lives, so DVI is still important. We have a lot of different types of DVI. Yeah, what we got here to begin with is a small DVI D single link cable. The way you can tell a D is that you're gonna see a little slot here in the connector. That's that's your DVI-D, which is digital stuff. There's also a dual link. If you look at the two connect, uh, two cables here, you can see that the cable size is tremendously different. And that- Fat. Yeah, fat, right, exactly. Um, and this guy, it can carry more bandwidth because it's got two links, dual link, and that produces the better images. The other types of DVI that you're gonna run into are one like this right here. It's the DVI-A, which is the analog. You can tell analog because it's missing a bunch of pins inside. And DVI-I is analog and digital together. Uh, so that's gonna have a whole bunch of pins in there, 24 pins uh, on this side, then the bar, and then four pins around it. And just to quickly mention, DVI Dual Link, there, there are a lot of fake Dual Link cables out there. We did a video on this previously, hit it in the sidebar or wherever it is on YouTube. I don't understand YouTube anymore. It's somewhere <laughs> on this space. Hit that link and we show you how to test for a fake DVI Dual Link cable. Yeah, and so the the other thing that I, that I would like to say again is if you're going to go, say, like at 2560 by 1440 resolution or higher, then you're probably going to want to go with that dual link cable. Uh, technically, the dual link cable cannot perform HDMI 1.4, but that's a really technical difference, and for all practical purposes, it's about the same. So moving to HDMI and DisplayPort, in terms of the, the technical difference between HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort 1.2, they're pretty much capable of the same thing. So uh, they both do a 4K resolution. They both output at 60 hertz. And mm -hmm. I guess there's a difference in the color depth. HDMI 2.0 is a little bit, uh, it's like 24 bits per pixel or something like that versus DisplayPort yeah. is 30. That's right. So if you really care, I guess, maybe if you have super eyes, you can tell the difference. <laughs> uh, other than that, um, DisplayPort does have slightly higher bandwidth. DisplayPort also is important in AMD iFinity setups. It is required. Absolutely. So that is, uh, if you're buying video cards or monitors, do keep that in mind. Otherwise, HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort are, they're, they're both pretty darn good at what they do. Yeah. HDMI 1.4 though. The thing to know about 1.4, HDMI 1.4, is that it can only do the 4K at 30 frames per second. Uh, so be aware of that if you're looking for HDMI hertz, stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, so uh, before we move into data connectors with, we have SATA, different types of SATA connectors. I just wanted to point out this stupid creation. This is uh, an HDMI to VGA converter, if I have that correct. And it is, uh, so we've got a digital signal here and an analog over here. That doesn't work. It does not work. If you plug this in, it will not work. Um, do not buy this. And uh, They sell it. <laughs> they sell it. If you want it, you can buy it. If it has like a converter box on it or some kind of something to switch the signal, then it'll probably work. But a cable alone will not do anything. Um, so moving into SATA, I guess the, the thing we want to address here, there are two primary types of SATA cables as advertised on the market. They advertise them as 6 gigabits per second or SATA 3 or 3 gigabits per second or SATA 2. So Yeah, so the thing to, to realize here is if you look on the web for, hey, is there a difference between a SATA 3 cable versus a SATA 2 cable? What you're going to find is the answer, if you dig far enough, is nope, definitely not. <laughs> But uh, something you could notice, uh, the SATA 3 or SATA version 3, SATA 6 gigabit per second standard of cable does say that you have to have a little clip on top here. In summary though, SATA connectors don't pay extra for nope. a, a 6 gigabits per second connector unless you really want the clip. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so other than that, we have a bunch of USB. So for USB connectors, we basically have USB A and B. B is the square. We have USB micro, which is the smallest, and USB mini, which is used for cameras and stuff like that. And then we have, of course, USB 3.0 and 3.1. So USB 3.0 is always identified with a blue header that is for devices and for cables. 
And, uh, and the header itself is shown here as well. This is what you connect your front panel for in your case if your motherboard supports it. But USB 3.0 transfers at 4.8 gigabits per second, and the new USB 3.1 standard is at 10 gigabits per second, and it can also plug in both ways, so it is uh, a universal header that way. It doesn't require 100 tries to plug it in anymore. Uh, Thunderbolt, I should mention Thunderbolt, we don't have any cables here for None. that. None. Sorry, guys. Uh, there was a Silverstone video I did where you can see it in use, and Thunderbolt 1 moves at 10 gigabits per second, uh, but it's it's like a parallel thing. And then Thunderbolt 2 is 20 gigabits per second, which is pretty awesome if you want to do an external video card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll, we'll move over here very quickly to... Fan connectors. Fan connectors, yeah. so... Yeah, so the thing, I'll, the thing about fan connectors to know is that there are two types that you're interested in. A three pin, which looks kind of like this right here, and then a four pin, which looks like this right here. On a three pin, what you've got is you've got a ground, a 12 volt connection, and then a fan tachometer connection. And that's just gonna tell your motherboard how fast the fan's spinning. What's added in a four pin is just a fan control now, which means that the motherboard or the BIOS or uh, somewhere in your software in Windows or Linux can actually control the speed of the fan as, uh, as you have a higher powered setup that may, maybe needs more fan power. Finally, we have this crazy power connector I want to talk about. If you look at the end of it, it looks like a uh, an, an unimpressed face, I would say. There you say. go. So that is an unimpressed face. Emoticon. That's, there you go. <laughs> um, and what's special here is it is a 16, it's capable of delivering 16 amps. So uh, That's just a lot of current. Um, <laughs> st on a standard power cable, you, you're probably not going to be delivering 16 amps. Um, for instance, put it like this, a, a, a power breaker that's in your home's power circuit to your room is probably going to be around 10 amps. And so this thing can actually pull more current than a circuit breaker is used to producing. Like in other words, if you pull 16 amps off of your computer's power supply in a room that has a 10 amp breaker, that breaker is going to flip in a hurry. Some rooms do have 15 amps, some rooms have 20 amps, so you want to have a, a, a pretty beefy uh, power set up in the room where you're plugging this joker in. Yeah, and that goes with any power supply that's like 1500 watts or more because yep. a lot of US homes uh, hit the wall at, at 1500 watts um, before you start blowing things up. So uh, finally we have this special connector. Um, we've got some, zo I'll zoom in on, on it for you. If you can identify this for me, if you got maybe a little bit of history behind you, then uh, you're old. <laughs> that's one way to put it. Um, leave a comment uh, below on this video. I, I won't count it if it's not on this video. Leave a comment on this video. Tell me what it is. The first person to get it correct uh, will, you know, I'll message you and we'll send you like a game or something. I think actually I have some Wizard Wars codes. If you like Magicka, uh, look it up. It's a pretty crazy, just like hectic co-op game. I will send you a Wizard Wars code if you can identify this connector. Um, so that's it for our cable video. Anything else here, leave a question. We will get to you with a second video. We'll try to answer it, yeah. And uh, as always, please subscribe. Check out our Patreon page, and we will see you all next time. Peace. Later on.